Hey, how you doing? It's Super Designs here, bringing you my second tutorial. I'm going to be starting a new series called Tutorial Tuesdays. I was going to start it yesterday, but I completely forgot, so even though it's Wednesday, this is going to be the uh, first episode of Tutorial Tuesdays. So, let's get started. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to do the ripple effect in Cinema 4D. This is a very simple effect, but it looks really sweet and can make anybody's background or desktop background or whatever they want to use it for look awesome. Okay, the first thing you want to do is get your text, mo, te mo, mo text. To get your mo text, if you don't already know, is mo graph. Get your mo text, I already have some right here. It says subi. S is in like curved and everything, like any letter that's curved usually works better. You want to pick a good font. A good font I always use is Baybase. I will give you a link for that in the description of this video. If not, if I forget or something, you can go to my other tutorial on how to do the crack text effect. I use the same font and I have that in the description. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is with the mo with the mo text, you don't want to change anything but the depth. This depth is at 110, which is good. It just needs to be a decent depth. I do anywhere from 100 to 110 because it looks nice. So then you want to go up here go to mo graph and then go to top here, Effector, go over and click on Random. And then under the Random, with the Strength, you want to change that to around 10. Then the C down here on the Min slash Max, you just want to give it all that and put that as 0. And then you want to go over here and click Parameter, and you just want to change this, all three of these to 30, the X, Y, and Z. Okay, and then once you're done with that, you go over to the deformer next to it, and then click on Deformation, Point. So once that's done, you want to go over here to your Objects, click on Objects, and then Null. And once you have that, you just want to click on the Random, and the Random and the Text together, and then you just want to drag them into the Null. And as you can see, you see that rippled effect which looks really nice and if you feel like this might be a little too rippled for me if you feel that's too rippled you can always just go into random go to your effector and change it down let's say five and see it looks still rippled but not as bad and maybe if you want you can add some color onto it maybe just orange orange or like gold looks pretty nice because it makes it kind of like a chrome type of thing so if we pre-render that if you render it, it'll look very nice. <clears throat> Just gonna wait for it to render out here. You can kind of see it now. Like I said, it mostly does the ripple on curves. Like if you notice on like the U, the S, and the B, it's all rippled. But on the L, on the I, I mean, it's not very rippled. But that doesn't matter as long as most of its ripple looks really cool, as you can tell. So. That's how to do the ripple effect in Cinema 4D. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. Leave a comment, leave a like, and subscribe if you're new. Thanks for watching.